Tools, tools, tools. Tools, tools, tools. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're hey back. There, guys. How's it going? Back at the land. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different, mostly because our hard drive has failed and a lot of the footage from the last month is missing. Um, we're, fingers crossed, going to get that back soon. So in the meantime, uh, we wanted to run you through some of the costs, or as many of the costs, I guess, as possible um, that we've put into the land so far, including the land itself, right? Yes. 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 A lot of, some people have asked, at least in the comments, and um, yeah. Uh, we will also take this opportunity to give you guys a bit more insider information as to how big the land is, where the wells are located, and um, yeah. yeah, just give you a bit more of a picture of what this all actually looks like and again, how much it all costs. <laughs> The land itself uh, was advertised for, what was it, 29500 Yes. That was the original price. Um, and the guy who was selling it, there wasn't a lot of room to move, unfortunately. But the deal that we ended up coming to, and I think we've mentioned this before, yeah. um, is that the land clearing would be incl uh, included. Included, yeah. Yeah. That he would pay for the land clearing, and then we ended up paying... 28,000 yeah. in the end. The reason why we, we got him to do the land clearing is because we didn't really um, know what was in part of the land was just absolutely covered in brambles at the time. So just wanted to to be aware of what we were getting ourselves into. Mm. Thankfully, um, that actually unearths two different wells, which are an awesome feature of the land. Um, the land is... is just under one hectare. Uh, we'll show you guys a little um, outline of the land as well. On its western end, it is limited by the river as well, uh, which we've um, yeah been uh, promoting so heavily. <laughs> yeah, we're doing lots of marketing <laughs> for the river. <laughs> we're a great PR it's team. The best for feature. The river. <laughs> it's about, we love it. We, yeah, it's really yeah, amazing. It sells itself. So aside from the river and the wells, we've also got these two incredible buildings. This is the house behind us, which you've already seen. If you haven't seen, go back and check the videos. Um, and there's also the warehouse, which um, we also need to do a lot of work on. Obviously, both of them need tons of work. But um, to have two ruins that we can play with is, is really amazing. And apart from that, there were actually um, quite a few established trees on the land already. Um, most of them are olive trees. We have a couple of oaks. Uh, we have some ash yeah, as well. Yeah, quite a lot of ash trees. Um, some most... poplar. A couple, yeah, very tiny little poplar. It's, it's very a, tiny it's... little poplar. <laughs> um, uh, saplings, yes. Yeah. So something else we invested in as well and um, spent quite a little bit of money on. Um, this is kind of the most expensive thing that we've paid for yeah. so far, apart and from like, the land itself. And the biggest... Um, yeah, operation, mm, I'd say. Yeah. We've um, conducted on the land as well, uh, which was uh, removing the big piles of trash uh, which were sitting throughout the land. Uh, you can actually see the remnants of one of those piles there. And uh, what is actually wonderful is what you can see of yeah. the piles, like, which were... If you didn't see it before, you wouldn't notice it, but this space right here was just a mountain of trash before, and now it's a lush green countryside. Isn't that lovely? Yes. So this was the biggest thing. How much did that cost us in the end? Uh, 250 um, Yeah, which is actually a lot less than we expected. Yeah. Um, so yeah. that wasn't too bad. So the person that did that was actually the person that did the land clearing for the previous owner before, so just he carried over to us, let's say. Yeah, we've um, adopted him as yeah. our land clearing guy. Yeah, super friendly and very helpful, so yeah, um, satisfied about that for sure. Yeah, um, we did make a whole video about this, which again is now in trapped inside the hard drive, <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully we'll put that up soon because it was um, yeah, a really exciting day just to yeah. see the land finally transform into something that isn't several piles of trash so yeah. hopefully we'll get to show that with you soon so this is the map of the land and you can see it's kind of a very weird shape but it's actually three separate plots together so this first plot is um quite long goes the entire length of the land from the street on the side to the river at the end 
And this is the plot that has the workshop on it. You can see it's right up against our neighbor's house. Um, then there's a second plot here, which is much smaller. And this is totally urban. So the first plot is urban in the front and rustic in the back. This plot is entirely urban, I'm pretty sure. So you can see here this overgrown brambly box is the house. Um, thankfully, less brambly at the moment. Um, and then the third plot is just this one rustic piece. So this is all olive grove, these two, actually, these two parts are all olive grove. It's um, a bit over 7,000 square meters. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much. We've got it on a piece of paper somewhere. But yeah, the shape, the size, what's on it. Um, the wells are also in the center of the land here. Um, one on one plot, another on another plot. And yeah, these two buildings at the front. So that's it. <laughs> So something that we have been uh, spending quite a bit of money on um, have been tools. Um, in general, though, this is something that we were expecting was going to be a need already. So we have been buying tools um, for some time. Some of them have definitely been helpful. And there have been uh, some tools which we really just had to bite the bullet and get them. Uh, the strimmer was, was the first one just to be able to get in the house and clear um, all of the brambles, it's uh, definitely served us well so far. Uh, 110 euros, if I'm not 119. mistaken. 119. 119. The streamer is also uh, one of the smaller engines they had, um, also two-stroke, uh, 33 uh, cc. So, so far, though, it's um, it's been holding up, and we've definitely put it through the paces. So, yeah, yeah, quite satisfied with that one. And we've also recently acquired a little chainsaw um, for 110 euros. A 25 uh, cc uh, two-stroke engine. And um, if I'm not mistaken, the blade is 20 centimeters. Um, so really handheld. Is this the moment of truth? This is the moment of truth. This Ooh. is the first time we're actually starting this chainsaw. Yeah, actually, as some context, we bought another chainsaw, which <laughs> broke, broke immediately. before we even used it. <laughs> so this is the replacement. Fingers crossed this one has better luck. Right. Eh, so close. It lives! <laughs> That's awesome. Success. And it's actually like, I quite like it. I haven't used it yet, but I quite like it. Really small and handy, so you can like strap it around yourself and, you know, go climbing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just eager, a eager to try this regular out. old climbing session. <laughs> yes. I think the first tool maybe that we bought specifically for the land was this wheelbarrow, which has really come in handy. Um, we broke the tire the first time we used it, <laughs> so we also bought another tire for that. But this has been really helpful, like just moving stuff around. You know what wheelbarrows do, it's been good for that. So apart from big tools, we've also um, had to get loads of little bits and bobs as well to go along with them. Um, so for instance, we've gotten um, two-stroke um, oil for um, both the strimmer and the chainsaw as well. We also need a uh, chain lubricant for the chainsaw. Um, apart from that, a couple of small tools and a lot of other things that we've needed, namely uh, four buckets to get water from the well, a uh, rope to uh, go along with those buckets. Uh, we've bought a couple of gloves as well. We actually gotten the jerry cans to hold the uh, fuel for um, both the tools. All right, putting on my accounting glasses. <laughs> Get serious. Um, so a couple of these tools I had already from my last project, like this three-pronged grabber, I don't know what it's called. A couple of these hose we had already. But the new tools that we bought specifically for for this project is this pitchfork, which I think was about 15, 15. euros, something like that. We got this shovel that we got, uh, which I think was like 13 euros or something mm -hmm. like that. These we already had, this we already had. This one, I think the head for the sickle was about 12 euros and the stick was like eight or something. Um, but yeah, these are all like just from like Max Matt, which is, um, or Leroy, Leroy Merlin. 
which is like the two big um, right. <laughs> Lero Melon of the two big um <laughs> big bucks like tool stores. And that we like, have in Caldas at least. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like they're the biggest two in Portugal, aren't they? Probably, yeah. Anyway, had a bunch of like other hand tools that we've just brought along for when you know, inspiration strikes. <laughs> All up with the tools, including the the um strimmer and the chainsaw we probably spent about uh, i want to say like 400 maybe on tools and like little bits and pieces and i'll show you guys we'll show you guys like the that. actual number yeah we'll go through our budget and, on screen now <laughs> and uh that's it for the accounting glasses for now so hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea about what a project like this costs or begins to cost, yeah. Um, I've got like a very rough budget sheet. I've put a link to it in the um, video description if you want to have a look. Not everything is on there. It's a pretty rough budget, but mm. it is something. Um, if you have a project like this, I recommend keeping track of your expenses because it adds up very quickly. <laughs> and it's good yeah. to know what you've what you've put into the the project um, and it's the little things as well like the fuel to go to the land and yeah we didn't even include that but we've spent hundreds of euros just on fuel driving back and forth so that's it all, all adds up it sure does um we also want to give a massive shout out yes, to a couple of huge, people huge thank you to both arthur and uh xander who have both supported us one on coffee and the other one on patreon um yeah as usual we are um completely overwhelmed with the support uh that we received from you guys and yeah we we will be putting all of the donations that you guys are giving uh towards something in particular we'll put it all aside and yeah then... we want to have like a specific project for that so if you have ideas maybe put them in the comments like we haven't really do a vote or yeah something. we haven't really decided <laughs> what it'll go towards yet but um yeah, yeah. we're open to suggestions so yes. Thank you very, very much, all of you, for supporting us, um, especially Arthur and Xander. As well, hopefully we will get the hard drives uh, yeah, soon. I hope so. Hopefully, I'm waiting for a call. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll be back to our regular programming soon. Um, in the meantime, like, subscribe, comment, tell us your thoughts. Um, Make sure to see our other videos if yeah. you haven't done so already. Yeah, there's some cool stuff already out, so have a look at that. And until next time. Yeah, we'll yeah. see you soon. We'll hopefully. see you soon. <laughs> Bye.